Shania Twain recently came out with a very new look. Do we think she had plastic surgery or not? Shania Twain was born August 28th, 1965, which makes her about 57 years old. She's actually a Canadian songwriter and she is one of the best-selling country music artists of all time. I think something like selling over 100 million records. So she's in the spotlight a lot. She's performing a lot. So again, when one of these entertainers change something, people take notice. Recently, Shania performed at an award show and she looked different. Um, so we're gonna go through a little bit of her history and I'm gonna say what I think she might have or might not have done. So Shania was lucky. She started out an attractive woman. And so in those cases, a lot of times, they just have to maintain their beauty and not do too much to, to mess it up. <laughs> and I think she did a good job of that. As we see her throughout her career, she's maintained her beauty. She's in her 40s. She's just kind of naturally beautiful. And also one of the key things is maintaining health and wellness. I mean, that is the ultimate anti-aging secret, right? So her staying in shape, watching her diet, exercising, performances, all those things in her lifestyle kept her looking young and pretty. So she really didn't need to do that much work. So probably in her 30s, and 40s she probably was just doing some maintenance sort of things maybe a little touch of Botox a little touch of filler facials peels you know just things to maintain a youthful appearance and, a, and also youthful skin so again I don't think she had to do very much but then when we get into her early 50s and around 2017 we may notice a little bit more that she's trying to fill a little bit more doing again non-surgical touch-ups but nothing too extreme it wasn't until about 2019 that we see her probably maybe doing a little bit of overfilling, the quote pillow face. And that's very common. I think that what some people in her shoes and a lot of people do is when they're starting to age, they want to try things that don't involve incisions and big surgeries. So they start playing with these other things like injectable fillers and Botox and different things to try and take up the looseness in the skin without doing lifting or scars. And in many cases, they start overfilling. They start doing a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more and then that filler takes on water and they start looking poofy. In a photograph, it also shows up a little bit more, so they may come out going, wow, they got really poofy or they gained weight or what happened to her face. The good news about that is if they just let the fillers dissolve and slowly come down, they start looking normal again. So now if we fast forward a little bit to current day, Shania is 57 years old, and I think after playing with the non-surgical options, she might have gone for a surgical option. You notice that her face went from the poofy kind of pillow face to this contoured, lifted face. We said that her jowls are a little less prominent. I also noticed that her eyes opened up a lot more. So I, I'm really suspicious of something like a brow lift or a lateral brow lift along with a lower facelift, probably done in combination. And then the other interesting thing that a lot of celebrities do and a lot of people do is we see her changing her hair color, changing her style, doing other things to distract from something that they may have done surgically. So when we see her live, we see the whole new kind of appearance where she looks younger, she doesn't look as poofy. We see the jowls gone, we see the eyes open up, we see the dramatic hair color change, all of those things kind of adding up to a very different new look for her. And I think it looks good. It's not one of those facelifts that looks overdone or that she looks like she was over pulled. So I think that it was a surgery that was done tastefully and not too extreme. And then also we will notice subtle things like patients that do get facelifts want to hide their ears, they want to wear their hair down, wear hats, or, or wear scarves if they're healing or there's bruising or things that while they're still healing. And we do notice that she's also doing that. Again, could be coincidental. But overall, I think she looks great. So kudos to her for not overdoing it. And one other thing I want to say in general, like I always say, is as women and men get into their 50s and 60s, if we don't see any aging, usually means something was done to prevent or maintain things so that they don't look like they're getting older. And again, in her case, I think it's done very well. And she's kind of in that timeless range right now where she still looks young and she looks great for her age.